This is Robot Wars. Let's get ready to wreck. Out comes Thor, the wild card against Pulsar, and out back into the competition because Chompelot were wrecked and out earlier on in the series, you'll remember. And there's Thor straight away into the house robot, not where he wants to be. And when they can get that drum up to speed, you will hear the hum. It's not a hum drum sound for any victim. The siren lures its victims down to doom. There's not a lot of movement in Pulsar, and I think the spinner may have stopped. Unless a miracle happens. Oh, flipped over. Well, their goose is cooked. And meanwhile, Thor and TR2 will both go through. They need to stay out of trouble. And they have done. Well done guys. Strong looking robots, but they've all had reliability issues thus far in Robot Wars. Here we are in the grand final, and Carbide being shoved across the floor by Shockwave. Carbide is taken out. The side wall of the ring, I have never seen that before. They say that that blade has 10 times the power of anything we've seen on Robot Wars and causing more danger to Shockwave. But can this carry on? We have safety issues out there now because the feet, feet, arena feet. wall, I cannot Why believe they allow allowed this to continue. They won't. It's cease has been called. So Carbide went in the corner and has uh, hit the barrier and has managed to rip the steel barrier. It's a six mil steel plate and has ripped it from the wall. Looking at the damage, Shockwave is uh, beyond repair at the moment. We can't compete anymore in this. Oh, it's always disappointing to lose, but. Uh, we always knew that Carbide was going to be a fantastic robot to fight, and uh, I reckon they'll go for it. Carbide against Thor, the first head-to-head -head of the grand final. And Thor thus far has not come up against the spinner, has taken precautions, flips off the floor, flipper, self right has got that front buffer plate. Oh, goodness me! Look at the power of Carbide's assault! Oh, again! Can they survive? They just need to dodge and get away and maybe lure Carbide, the stronger, the faster, the more potent robot towards the pit. Trying to survive using the Sremek. You did. The yeah. punch to self right. No drive. Wheel's hanging off, look. A wheel is dangling off. The armament always its biggest weakness. And Carbide taunting and teasing and winning. But don't forget, teams, your time is nigh. You only have limited CO2 supplies, so make sure your flips count in the opening battles, but not spat out, thrown out there by Apollo. And again, the huge launcher. It can launch a 100 kilo competitor at least six feet into the air. Oh, oh! This is a really good contest. If it goes to the judges, who will they go for? Maybe that will be decisive. TR2 over. Seems to be immobilized anyway. Can they surf right? Have they got enough power? Apollo circling. Oh, Apollo going straight onto the attack with a wear resistant dead, steel dead. front. Dead. But I think they've taken too much damage there. I think they're immobilized. Carbide knew Apollo were the big ones they had to beat. <laughs> Remarkable that Thor has been repaired to be here at all. But they're getting flipped immediately by TR2. They know Thor's armor is its biggest weakness. Most of the robot weight is in the weapon. <laughs> they are uh, running away. They're holding them into the arena and therefore negating the power of that axe. Came down a couple of times but missed the target. Hits there. That could count. Thor. Ooh, onto Matilda's tail. A good win here for TR2. 
splendid machine fighting back from defeat in the last bout and still piling on the attacks one after another oh, out of the arena all over well done Matilda Carbide awesome power against TR2 Slipper Carbide one of the best design robots we've seen with that spinning bar, 25 kilos in weight. Can Alex Brown finish off Carbide? Another push from TR2 into the CPZ. The red lights are on. 10 seconds remain. Don't forget, TR2 need the win here. It'll go to the judges and they will decide. I can tell you it was a unanimous decision in favour of TR2. Oh, yeah. Apollo need the victory to get through to the ultimate final. Thor out there again. Somehow Jason has put it together, but immediately under pressure. Oh, look, the TR2 team looking on. They need Apollo to go out here, they know that. But Thor! Oh, another bit's come off. The floor flipper catches it as well. Everything's fallen off it. And yet he's rebuilt and rebuilt and gone out there and gone out there. But that's the end of his road. So after 53 battles across six shows, it's all come down to this. Apollo versus Carbide for the title of Robot Wars champion. This is the final I would have asked for. It's the spinner that destroyed the arena versus the flipper that humiliated the house robots. The teams are ready, which means for the last time this series, it's over to you, Jonathan. The audience can't wait. Put on your seatbelts. Here we go. In revenge. Apollo, remember that Carbide did the dirty on them earlier on, attacking their rear end, and in they go to Sir Killalot. And we've seen Carbide can get into trouble. And Apollo doing all the aggressive work early on. But look at this now. Apollo had that bit of a gas leak. Has that affected the front flipper? It seems to be staying, staying open. Oh, Carbide just beyond the Pit. They've had problems with the clutch as well. But they're on the attack, Carbide. They're trying to push Apollo. A mighty weight to push at 107 kilos. It's now who can get who towards the pit or into the CPZ, onto the floor flipper, because the weapons are largely kaput. <laughs> what on earth happened there? Carbide dodges the floor flipper. This is absolute mayhem out there at the moment. Back they come in again. Carbide caught in the jaws. And in towards Shunt. And can get damaged in there. Untested as a machine before. Robot Wars Carbide. They've done brilliantly. Cease called. Oh, oh, it was a wonderful fight. It was a fantastic fight. But there was no clear winner. Right? So it has gone to a judge's decision and that result has come through. The decision was unanimous. The winner of that fight, and therefore the Robot Wars champions for 2016, are Apollo. There. <laughs> Worthy winners. They say a tournament gets the final it deserves. It was an incredible finale to a brilliant competition. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. That's all from us on this series of Robot Wars. Good night. <laughs>